Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video we want to work with our front page. Some navigation on top and then we can have our coaches showing up here. So for the styling I'm going to use bootstrap so that we won't waste our time on styling as we are going to concern on Vue.js and Vuex as well as Firebase. So if you go and search on Google for bootstrap CDN we are going to get this website. So when you go there in the first CDN, I'm just going to copy the CDN from here. And in our application, if I go to the uh, public directory, there you will find the index.html. If you open that file, you will see the HTML syntax. And our application, the main.js, we when we created the view instance, we bind this instance to ID app. And that is binding in here in this div of ID app. You can see that even it says in comment build files will be auto injected here. So here, what I can do, I can put the uh, Bootstrap CD in. So I'm going to do that right away. So we won't waste much. And also, I want to put a uh, small code that is going to set the margin padding to zero. I meant so it's going to be margin zero pixel. Right, that's it. So we save this file. Now if we go to our application, we have our bootstrap working. You can see we don't have any error so far. So I close this index.html. Now we need to uh, get the data and display here. So before that, uh, I'm going to put the navigation. So for that, what are we going to do? We're going to go into another website. So I'm going to go Google and it's going to be Boots Watch. All right, so it's a free uh, library where you can get the bootstrap navigations uh, for free. So here we're going to get the navigation. So what I do, I'm going to copy this sandstone. So if you want this navigation you like this one, just get the code and you can copy this code and use in your application. Now here in our application, what we need to do, we need to use this navigation on each page, right? So if I go to app.view, this is the router view where we are rendering every component. So we need to make a way where we are rendering our component, there we include our navigation. So what I'm going to do inside components, I'm going to create a directory and I'm going to call it and I want to create a file inside it, which is going to be header dot view. Now this header dot view going to get this navigation. And for that, we need to create a template again. Template, Dave. And here we put the navigation. All right, so we save this. Now we are going to call it here so we need to call it inside this component because we are going to use it here. So we're going to say here import header from. Now we need to give the path. Now the path is uh, inside components includes header dot view. All right. So we have it here. Now we need to say and then we they, we need to use this component. So it's a component. And we need to define this component here. So I'm just going to copy and paste here. Now here, in, uh, inside ID app div, on top, I'm just going to put this. All right, we have it. Now if I go to the browser and to our application, uh, you can see we have navigation on top. So we need the pages, first of all, and we I want this navigation to be in the middle here. So to do that, what we need to do, we go in header again. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, first of all, indent it a bit because it's going out. And then we want to create a div with the class of container. So trap class, which is going to put this content inside. Uh, in, in this portion, like it's going to uh, leave some space on both sides. So here, if I copy this all and paste inside this div, the problem is that it's going to put 
the background as well. So let's see for what happens. So just gonna all right, save it. So you can see that background also is inside. So what we need to do, we need to put this div inside this nav tag here. So all we need to do is just cut this and we need to have this like this. And inside it, we need to put like this. In the bottom, where we have navigation, I'm gonna cut this and put it here. Save this. Now we have the navigation in the middle further but for now I don't think so it is required so uh, yeah the navigation looks fine now now we also don't want drop and about so we're gonna remove that Step simply all right so what I gotta do now save it so we have home and home is fine now we are going to use view router so view router when you use view router we cannot use anchor tag like this because it's going to refresh the page so for that what we do we are going to say router link so we say router and link all right and when you say router link instead of href you define two so we say two and we define the path so for home it should go slash and here our link should end instead of anchor tag all right so this is like this the second going to then the add coaches add coach. all right so we have the routes for it so if we go to router.js we have for creating a coach we have route this slash register so we can define that here add coach it's going to be this and it's going to be two and instead of anchor router link make sure it's ending the same way so you copy and paste in here same way we need to work on this too so i'm just going to copy router link from here paste and paste here now two for the messages we have uh, router and for messages we have this path so we're gonna copy this and we need to put here all right save this and now refresh now if i go to messages we get messages up top home we come home add coach we get register so it's working now we don't have any components currently powering those points so we will be working on the on that these components are currently null but our navigation is looking fine now now we also want this content to be in the middle because home is here so this content should be in the middle too so for that i go to app.view and here we can create a div with the class of container and inside this we can put our view router uh, router view so it is going to render and inside this particular uh, point. So if you see here, we have front page in the middle now. Now we don't need this image for view application, so I'm just gonna remove this. So we have front page straight away, all right? Now, in the next video, we will be working on the components for the other pages as well. And we want to show the coaches list so that we can uh, start working with that. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.